Trabeculectomy bleb, how to assess. Here's a video of a patient who has had a previous trabeculectomy, and I'm going to be talking to you about how to assess that bleb. So assessing the bleb is essential for monitoring the surgical success and identifying complications. So we want to start by assessing the bleb's location, usually at the superior or superior nasal, and then we want to note its height, extent, vascularity, and presence of any leaks or encapsulation. So we use the slit lamp with diffuse illumination to evaluate the surface elevation, and then we can use a Seidel's test with fluorescein to check for any leaks. And so a successful bleb is often elevated, diffuse, and avascular, indicating good filtration. And in contrast, a flat, hypervascular, or cystic bleb may signal some failure or scarring. So here we do have some vascular changes here, and the bleb is relatively flat, but it's not so cystic. And the pressure is 12, so we can be relatively happy with this. And so two widely used grading systems are the Indiana Bleb Appearance Grading Scale, IBAGS, which is used to assess the height, extent and vascularity and leakage. And then the more commonly used in the UK, Moorfields Bleb Grading System, which uses standardized photographs to grade the bleb morphology, including area, height and vascularity. Here we can see that superior iridectomy.